um, may I request the couple to go outside? <laughs> yeah, we can go outside. <laughs> because we have a surprise for you. Okay. Ay, nang ba, ma? Okay. Okay, because butong na. Okay? Sige, let's all stand up and let's have our opening prayer by you. Okay, shall we pray? Close our eyes and <clears throat> spar our head. Our heavenly most gracious God, we thank you so much for that for your uh, kindness to us. Thank you for bringing us in this place. Starting of uh, eating, we need your perfect prayer. Thank you for your protection as we go and travel this place with that. Thank you for keeping us as we uh, stay in this place of God. We pray for uh, your protection. And then uh, the services that we have uh, conducted this uh, afternoon, we bless everyone, even our favorite uh, uh, priest and Jennifer. Amen. So, okay, amen. Okay. Let's remain standing. And okay, as instructed, kaganiha, let's clap our hands until na makaabot sila ni Niha. Like, like, parang di ka lang sila sa church, ganun. Ganun ang feeling since nada dere. Actually, it's a Thanksgiving yeah, wedding ceremony. Okay? Okay. Huh? okay! Let's welcome this afternoon our, our bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. for allowing us to be a part of this uh, Thanksgiving ceremony as we acknowledge the wedding is God's purpose. And that is biblical. Uh, we should follow the Bible. Thank you for the family of uh, Nakela, Nakela. And then of course, the family of our brother from the other side of the world. There is the family of uh, Mr. Chris, about the uh, companion of Mr. Chris, the companion. Okay, thank you so much, sir, for coming to us, coming to the Philippines. And it is our pleasure, and we are also grateful that uh, we can be 
can know each other and because of this event. Because uh, it's my second time to uh, give a message about wedding ceremony. But it's not a wedding ceremony because they're already uh, lawfully and legally coupled. But for us as Christians, I always cite what is in the Word of God. So I hope this afternoon will allow me to once again, just like a formal, the, this occasion will become a blessing. We become a momentous. And we are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. The joining of two hearts. They are joining already. Right? In this ceremony today we will witness the joining of this groom and bride. And as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, I just want to cite verses from the scripture. I would like everybody to please rise at this time. As I read the Word of God in Ephesians, okay, Ephesians chapter number 5 is very important, not just for them, but to all of us as man and woman. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse number 21, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be their own husbands and everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for you. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for the safety that you have given to each one reaching this place. Thank you, Lord, for how you uh, preserve each one's life. Thank you, Lord, for our brother on the other side of the world. Thank you for the presence. And thank you, Lord, for this very momentous event in their lives. As the, we are going to witness, and they are lawfully and legally, Lord, couple already. But Lord, we want to share to them about what is in the Word of God regarding the husband and wife relationship before thee. Give wisdom to thy servant. I am nothing far from you, O Lord. Give me the power and fullness from the Holy Spirit. And Lord, may you speak everyone. Forgive us, Lord, for all of the sins that we have committed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Mr. and Mrs. Chris, here's the charging from the Word of God. Sir and Mom, as a minister of the Gospel of Jesus Christ for more than 30 years, and uh, may one and testify that there is a perfect relationship in the world. But except God, He is a perfect one. But when it comes to relationships, whether family relationships or employees' relationships, even at this moment, as we witness these two people, two persons, who love each other one day, and they agree together, and they are now couple. But do not expect of perfectness. There is no perfect relationship in the world. But I would just like to cite some verses in the Bible, sir, ma'am, about uh, how relationship would last. How our relationship would uh, maybe you think of oh, maybe pastor not forever because there is no forever in the world. That's the the world is always saying that there's no forever in the world. But how our relationship as husband and wife would become meaningful and lasting. I said ago that there is no perfect relationship. But we will just follow the pattern from the Word of God. There is no other manual, perfect manual today, except the Bible. I believe, sir, ma'am, that there is God and there is the Word of God. This is his manual. So what the Word of God says to us, us, uh, 
husbands and wives. Ito diyan, no? O imo magpasakop ka. Submit. So I think you can translate to him about sometimes I use the, the our own dialect. It's okay, sir. Sometimes I use our own dialect. Okay, if my dialect is English, so this probably can understand me. So the word submit is not submit. That is another word. Submit means you are going to be under his leadership. That's the word submit. Now, we should submit first to God. Amen? We should submit first to God. Word might know Him. Through Him might believe and be saved. Put it to the Bible. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever, whosoever in the Bible is a blank. You put your name there, Peter. Example. Whosoever, Peter. That's whosoever. No names there. That is blank. So you put your name there. Whosoever believe. My name, Nolan. Nolan believe. So for God, whosoever believe in the name, should not perish but have everlasting life. One thing for sure in this life that you will die. Whether rich or poor, sir, man, we will all die. We are just temporary in this world. Now my question is, if you will die, where do your souls go? Where do you go after in this life? Because this is very important matter. Being a married couple, being a uh, dealing this kind of uh, ceremony is important. But the most important thing in life is what is life after? The Bible says there are two eternities in the Bible. Heaven and hell. Which that eternity you are prepared for. You can go to heaven not because you are rich. You cannot go to heaven. You can go to heaven because you are educated. No. You cannot go to heaven except by Jesus Christ alone. Putting your faith in Christ. Praying Father for you. Uh, also good help be upon you. And Lord so would become a blessing to her husband. Lord praying for her. Give her Lord the strength and the wisdom. Lord, be willing enough to submit to you as also she's going to submit to her husband. Bless this couple. May you give them the peace that passes all understanding from the Lord. We give you the glory and the honor this afternoon in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us welcome Mr. and Mrs. Chris. Thank you.